Welcome everybody, good evening, howdy howdy and welcome, welcome Sarge, Karma, Kreitz, welcome Sai, Hinoki, Pimmy, Poco, welcome Axa, anyone else who might be lurking or who might be joining us along the way, it is me, PB speaking, hope you all are doing well, that music was indeed all from Final Fantasy XIV, we had uh, the twin phases of fate, as well as On Windy Meadows, both composed by Nobuo Umatsu, who's uh, still the best in the game. You know, I appreciate Soken, but Umatsu's like just one of the greatest of all time. I'm sure Soken might uh, might get up there at some point. But anywho, we are here for more Final Fantasy 16. Not the only game I'm going to be playing this week. Uh, we've also got uh, Breath of the Wild. Not Breath of the Wild, sorry. It's sequel, Tears of the Kingdom. Starting playing that in the mornings, both Tuesday and Thursday morning. And on Wednesday evening, I'm also going to be uh, playing some Street Fighter VI. It's, oh, it is, it's tough, crits. It is. Look at my schedules like Final Fantasy 16 today. Then I wait until Sunday? The fuck? <laughs> but we have to play some other games. We gotta. It was my life for the weekend as well. I mean, this is my fifth day in a row playing it. Sorry. Yeah, wait. Because of th Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, this is my fifth day in a row. Fifth night in a row finishing it. Or playing it, rather. Oh, you finished it? Very nice. Street Fighter 6, Final Fantasy 16. Oh my god. Welcome in, Sussy. My sixth birthday. I got immediately blasted by Twitch. Anywho, uh, before we get into it, let us talk about the story thus far. Square Eel, Yellow. Uh, please do forgive me. As uh, I will not be looking at, reading, responding to chat until I finish the recap. So, let's find out what has happened so far in Final Fantasy 16. The realm of Valisea is preserved by the crystals. Mined from mountainous mother crystals, these crystals serve as the fuel for magic used for heat agriculture, construction, warfare, warfare, uh, healing, and more. However, a blight is spreading across the land. The Deadlands, a region where no magic takes hold, where plants wither and the land crumbles to dust, is spreading. People flock to the light of the Mother Crystals and, as a result, kingdoms wage war over them. Clive Rossfield, once the Duke, sorry, once the son of the Duke of Rosaria, is the brother to the dominant of the Phoenix, Joshua. After an invasion by the Empire of Sunbreak and the death of his brother at the hands of the Icon Ifrit, Clive served as a slave soldier of the Empire, marked as a bearer due to his ability to use magic without a crystal. A chance encounter with his childhood friend, Jill, now the dominant of Shiva, enslaved to fight for the Iron Empire and Sid, once a soldier of the kingdom Walud, and dominant of Ramu, sees Clive joining a cadre of freedom fighters, the Curse Breakers. Sid, leader of the Curse Breakers, aims to free the magic using bearers from slavery and subjugation of the, of the various political powers that be. In doing that, he enlists Clive and Jill. Clive, seeking revenge for the death of his brother, follows the rumors of a man he believes to be the dominant of Ifrit. On the way, the two fight Sid's old comrade, Benedicta, the dominant of Garuda. In the fight, Clive absorbs Benedicta's power, finding himself able to command Garuda's wind, and furthermore, awakens as Ifrit, revealing that he was the one responsible for Joshua's death. Seeking answers, Clive and Jill visit the Phoenix Gate, 
where his brother was murdered, to find those answers. They find a shrine belonging to the ancient fallen race, where Clive relives his memories and accepts responsibility for his brother's death, fully awakening as the, dom as the dominant of Ifrit. Yet all the while, a mysterious voice encourages Clive's actions. When Clive tells Sid that he accepts his role and responsibility as a dominant, and that he desired to use that power to fight the ongoing persecution of the magic using bearers, Sid welcomes Clive to the Curse Breakers fully and reveals his plan to destroy the Mother Crystals. He informs Clive and Jill that the Mother Crystals are the cause of the blight spreading across the Deadlands, sucking the ether out of the environment. In order to stop its spread and free humanity of the caste system created by magic, they aim for their Mother Crystal, situated in Oriflam, the capital of the Holy Empire of Sambrek. With the Empire's forces marching out from the capital to launch an invasion for control of the continent, the trio are able to sneak into the crystal mines that lead to the chamber where the Mother Crystal is kept. There, Sid transforms into Ramu, his iconic form, and destroys the crystal. However, a dark void open and a creature, a creature named Typhon fatally wounds Sid before being defeated by Clive, who masters Ifrit in the process. Sid passes on his iconic essence to Clive and charges him with leading the Curse Breakers in his stead before passing away. Typhon's true form appears and incapacitates Clive and Jill. As Clive fades from consciousness, he sees his brother, Joshua, having survived, appear to rescue them. Joshua, despite still being the dominant of the Phoenix, is unable to vanquish the creature that he calls Ultima. He seals it inside himself instead, before escaping the chamber with Clive and Jill and disappearing. Meanwhile, at Sid's hideout, the dominant of the Titan, Hugo, attacks. Furious at the death of Benedicta, his once lover, he massacres the hideaway's denizens, looking for Sid. Few survive as the icon of Earth destroys the hideaway entirely. Five years later, Sid has taken up the mantle of Sid and has set up a new hideaway on the Legborn Ruins of the Invincible, an airship belonging to the ancient fallen race. Clive still fights for Sid's mission to liberate bearers, dominants, and other downtrodden folk, but finds it more difficult with fewer collaborators as the holders of power grow more violent in their reprisals. One such instance happens in his home country of Rosaria. Martha, an innkeeper who had once been a collaborator of Sid, and who would buy bearers work to near death, is attacked and her charge is killed. Clive is able to rescue her alone, only to discover that the new force attacking the peoples are named the Black Shields, a mockery of the shields that once served Rosaria and the dominant of the Phoenix. Moreover, they work at the command of his mother, Annabella Lesage, who played a key role in the betrayal at Phoenix Gate, and has since married Emperor Sylv Sylvester of Sambrek. As a result, Clive grows only more insistent that destroying the remaining Mother Crystals is the right thing to do. Back at the hideout, Clive's new advisor, the historian and scholar Vivian Ninetales, helps him plan their next course of action. Sunbreak's invasion successful, they have made their new imperial capital in the city of the once neutral Crystalline Dominion. This has caused Dalmachia to wage a war of liberation, while the other nations watch, likely to take down the battle-weary victors. Chief amongst them, the Iron Kingdom, an insular island people who have been making constant incursions against the nations of Storm. Clive, knowing that Hugo, the dominant of Titan, is likely to be on guard for any attempts to attack Dalmachia's Mother Crystal, instead plots a course for Drake's Breath, the Mother Crystal of the Iron Kingdom. With the Iron Kingdom likely to be making a voyage to the southern coast of Storm, Clive suspects that this would be the most unsuspected vector of attack. In order to make the voyage across the sea, Clive seeks the help of his uncle, Byron Rosfield, who still rules over Port Isolde, a prime port in Rosaria. Travelling throughout the region, Clive beholds both the butchery and the paranoia inspired by the actions of the Black Shields, who stamp out any sign of Jukal loyalists. 
as well as hearing rumors of a small band of freedom fighters fighting against them. With the bridge to Port Isolde heavily guarded by Black Shields, too many for Clive and Jill to get through alone, they mean to cut a path through an abandoned noble district, which he knows is rumored to have secret tunnels to the port. However, Clive and Jill are attacked by the bandits that have set up camp there. They soon discover that the bandits are, in fact, the freedom fighters who have been attacking the Black Shield garrisons, and that furthermore they are led by Sir Wid, a surviving Roswell loyalist who once served as a shield alongside Clive. After their reunion, Clive agrees to join Wade's plan to take the bridge from the Black Shields. They, fly, they fight a platoon led by an Imperial Dragoon and manage to break through. The way clear, Clive makes his way to Port Assault. Although skeptical to, uh, to his identity at first, Byron Rothfield eventually has a cheerful reunion with his nephew, and hearing the story of his journey so far, agrees to help him, providing a ship to sneak him into the Iron Kingdom. That night, Clive meets Jill, looking out over the sea. Jill, once enslaved by the Iron Empire after they raided Rosaria in the aftermath of the destruction of its army, was forced to fight for them when she awoke her powers as a dominant. Despite fighting to keep her enslaved countrywoman from being killed, she feels guilt, having killed thousands in her decade of fighting as a dominant of Shiva, Icon of Ice. Clive assures her that he will be there with her to confront her past, just as, he, as she was at his side when he did the same. With a renewed resolve, the two prepare for their journey. That is where we pick up our story. All right. Did I say Sid took up the mantle of Sid? Oh no. <laughs> uh, yeah, actually, I saw that. Previously, I, I I fixed that issue by going through the whole slideshow myself, which uh prevented that. But I forgot to do it this time. Pimmy, what a shit! <laughs> Absolute gram. All right, we will be doing that in a little bit. That thing I just planned to do, go into the Iron Kingdom. I was gonna say I call it the Iron Islands, but that's Game of Thrones. Go into the Iron Kingdom with uh, Jill. But first we have some side quests. And I also want to memorize... There's something wrong with my face? Uh, No, there isn't. I've always looked like this. That's a rude thing to say to someone. There's something wrong with your face. Also, for some reason, ever since it updated, the fade transition in Dreamlabs has sucked. Don't know why. It doesn't, it doesn't fade properly anymore. I'm going to try a swipe. No, nope, it goes to black first, regardless of what I do. That is unfortunate. So I'm just going to make it a cut. If, it, if I cut, will it go to black? It does not. Okay, so we're going to Rosaria. Uh, Belphegor is at the Broken Hilt. The Broken Hilt. The Broken Hilt. The Broken Hilt. Yeah, we'll probably start off near the Broken Hilt. Where is the Broken Hilt? Three reeds. Martha's Rest. Green Jeeves. The Broken Hilt. Alright, so we'll start off at East Pool. Make our way to Martha's Rest. 
Onto the griffin. Better get some goblin bite. I don't know what accent that was. What I think are the re of the reasons are for Clive taking on the name of Sid. Uh, to make use of the, I mean, first of all, as a tribute to the first leader of the Curse Breakers, the one who, you know, started the whole business of liberating uh, bearers, dominance, and, and other downtrodden people. Uh, but also because of the, the whole thing with the Mother Crystal, Sid's already notorious. Sid was already quite notorious, like people knew of him. We knew that like Hugo, for instance, knew of him and had a passive approach to him before Benedicta's death. Um, so yeah, also just to like make sure that people know that quote unquote Sid is still out there, still doing his thing, still a person that they can turn to. Um, thirdly, I, I think it is perhaps to not cause despair at the actual death of Sid. I think that people in the wider world who do not personally know Sid might still believe him to be the one in the same, still alive. And, uh, fourthly, letter dealy, the, the non-canon reason is that it's just a nod to the fact that Sid is an ongoing title in the site, the series as a whole. So they decided to make it a, uh, an ongoing title within the universe, like sort of a, an origin of the illusion kind of thing. Which is quite cute. And Final Fantasy XIV does have some good music. Speaking of, when are we getting that enhanced remake of The Witcher? Is that out yet? It's out. Been out for a bit. Oh wait, didn't it have some problems? No, no, not the Witcher one. I, I do mean the, the next. Next gen version of the Witcher. Yeah, Square, we don't uh we don't tolerate no BBs here. on that one. Last gen didn't get photo mode. Think more towards the first screen thing. It works rather well to give it no that said is the dominant of Ramu. Clive having access to Ramu's power can keep up the pretense better. Yeah. For sure. Oh. That looks like our boy. Belfagor. Rank B. Woo! Well. Let us. Work to earn the name of our predecessor. What the hell was that? What the hell is that precision dodge? Why has it changed so much? And it instantly... Like... 
powers up my sword? Bum, bum, ba -ba -bum. Why is my precision dodge changed so much? Ah, shit, too late. That's really tough, Sarge. Like, the It's easy for me to, to, to name which Final Fantasies are my least favorite soundtracks and my favorite. Nice features like the power rabble. go notorious mark slain upon close inspection of a lesser dragon's foot one may observe that the middle talon is considerably longer than the rest this extended appendage is used to puncture the fleshy parts of the creature's prey causing severe blood loss and weakening them for the kill belphagon uh but yeah man Maybe I should do a tier list of Final Fantasy OSTs. I feel like I've already done that. Let's consult my tier list folder. No, I never have. Never done one. I've done one for the best battle themes as well as the, the best boss themes. Do I have a precision dodge accessory equipped? That sounds familiar, Sai. That sounds very familiar. I think it's your you're on on the button with that. Yeah, Berserker Ring temporarily increases attack proficiency with each precision dodge. Solid. 
Yeah, you would get mad with its placement. Not my least favorite Final Fantasy OST. But it's pretty far down. Still has excellent tunes, like... Here comes the girl. Fly Ambrosia. Bazooka ring. Yep, 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 yep. Was indeed. What? Oh, you... You will rue the day. Immortal Antelope? Why can't Torgo ride with me? But yeah, no, the trick would definitely runs faster than Clive does. Just not like giga fast or anything. Weenie, weenie, ah. All right. Doesn't feel fast. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm just here for Ambrosia. Give it a try. I'm not experienced as such. Well, I'm currently using the turbo button. Thanks, girl. Nope, can't call her in battle. Yeah, really slow run in this. I, I wish that you could just like start sprinting. Hmm. 
All right, Cleve. No, but wild beasts this end. All their twisted talons and gruesome maws used to turn my stomach. But that was before I heard about the Black Shields. I need to buy some healing drafts. Ointments and joints. There you go. Calmatives, curatives, restoratives. I respected that little girl's hustle. Finally, we button our orchestrian role. Those of us who are still here have to look after each other, don't we? So, about the price of them turnips. <laughs> a lot of talk of turnips in this game. I respect it. Times may be hard, but if you got the gill, I got the goods. What can I do you for? Unwanted violets, if you have them. Though I'd gladly settle for learning what they are if you don't. <laughs> Boy, I haven't heard folk call him that since I was a lad. You're looking for scorpion tails. Unwanted violets is what folk used to call them back in the day. They turn a wicked purple when you boil them up. Hence the name. Used to chuck them in the pot when there weren't nothing else on offer. When there was a war on, that sort of thing. Thankfully, times aren't yet as hard as that. And even if Have you looked at Ryan lately? You wouldn't find anyone selling them these days. Times is pretty hard. Do the scorpions still live nearby? I dare say they do. Three reeds would be your best bet. Memory serves. Thank you. You've been most helpful. Man said this global devastation that we're experiencing ain't shit. Calling Ambrosia now. This is no time to write. Okay, music change. That's when we ride. Go! Okay. Alright, I'm not going to stop for any creatures more than five levels under me. That's my rule from now on. Ba -ba -ba -bum, bum, 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 ba -bum. I have to do it for myself now. Unwanted violet. Teals of a certain species of scorpion are prized as a delicacy. The trace amounts of poison remaining in their flesh 
lending them a certain piquancy. The common marsh scorpion, however, not only lacks a stinger, but subsists on a diet of mudworms and bug moss, bog moss rather, lending its flesh an altogether more troubling tang. I better get this back to Yvonne before it goes bad. Or any worse at least. Okay, we got a couple of bounties in Sam Breck, but I can't remember where exactly. So we'll have to go back to the license board, or the bounty board, whatever you call it. Bum, 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 bum. No, we haven't. We haven't as of yet. We haven't heard anyone really saying about the fact that one of the mother crystals is gone. You think it would have uh, started a bit of a tizzy, but we've not heard it as yet. Clairview and Care Norvent. Clairview, Care Norvent, Westgate. All right, so we'll probably start off from the Westgate. Or no, Clairview, leave the. The griffin seems like the bigger mark. All right, from Northreach. Pilgered nice and chill. Look at this place. Been... <sighs> okay, this is a big region. Uh, not as of yet, Noki, but clearly there is something uh, of note Fly, about Clive here. Something fucky is going on with him. Not only because he's able to absorb the dominance, but because it seems that these weird creatures, Ultima and his ilk, have uh, certain designs on Clive and his power. Ultima called him a vessel. So... There's something or other about Clive. There you go, girl. So we are coming through Clairview. Oh, is that our mark? Here she is. Aruna Ranksy. So is she actually an eggy of uh that's what I think it is. This is Benedicta? Or do we just somehow have a random wind elemental? Get 
Not what I meant to do. That'll do it. Engage, man. Remember when I was playing that game? That was a long ass game. I know I will. Okay. So. I needed that. Next we have a uh, Griffin. At Karen Norvent. Gonna assume this is the correct path. Aruna in the Hindu mythos is uh, older brother of Garuda. Oh. Thanks for the lore. Now, I believe it's actually in Karen Norvent. Could be wrong about that. Hmm, maybe not. Mayhaps no. Oh look, there's Sunbreak. What happened to your crystal, buddy? <laughs> we're looking for a griffin will it be an actual griffin or will it just be a real big bird Oh no! Bing, 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 bing. Sorry, what you plotting? Sand break dance. Cabora. Cause break dancing. We do have a chocobo now, Karma, yeah. Finally, a friendly bird. Hmm.
Oh, I went entirely the wrong way. Good day to you. So the crystals we get from the tail are all but worthless. I tasted it upon the air. I was waiting for it. Star's doing the, the evil in real life. Wait, this is, yeah, this is correct. Here, Northern Valley. Regular Dragon Evis. Some Morgans. Ha. Where the bloody hell is the thing? Griffiths don't exactly make for easy prey. Let's hope our craftsman hasn't bitten off more than he can chew. Hmm. Oh, it is a full on griffin. The wind is pushing me. Dosmer. Rank B.
Go fuck yourself. <laughs> oh my goodness. I love fighting this game. Even despite the fact of using like the same weapon and moveset for the entire game, it's it is crafted to be very satisfying, I gotta say. Scarletite, one of the hardest metals known to man, Scarletite is highly sought after by those with the means to pay its exorbitant asking price. A price determined not by its rarity, but rather due to the fact that a forge must employ no fewer than five healthy bearers to produce flames hot enough to melt the ore, at which t uh, time it takes upon the deep scarlet hue from which it takes its name. Is that what blood weapons are made out of in this universe? Are we going to get a blood weapon that we have to use scarletite to upgrade? Something there, boy. Could that be our man? Are you all right? Yeah. Dare say I'll survive. That griffin caught me before I could get an arrow off. Must have lost sight of me in the grass, though. I'd be dead if it hadn't. More likely than not. The name's Camille. I'm a lowly leather worker. Hey, Weed, thank you for the Senran Kaguratite. So lowly from what the I strongest hear. material known to man to has persevered all this time. For, she's not an easy woman to forget. Bought a caress from me after I lost my buyer. Quite taken with my work, as far as I recall. Didn't stop her bartering me down to a pittance, though. <laughs> she sent you for a refund. It's not her who sent me. Well, consider me flattered. You should be. He's a master of his art. And not an easy man to impress. Blacksmiths are proud folk. It's a rare thing indeed for one to praise a glorified tanner. And I don't imagine an impressive swordsman like yourself would be getting your steel from any but the best. I'd dearly love to help a fellow craftsman, but... Well, actually... I suppose you could give him this. What is it? Treated leather. Same stuff I used to Poco. make Poco, GG's. If that was a long one. I've heard it's fairly short skilled, as far as RPGs yeah. go. You sure? Well, you did save my life. What if the remake Thanks to you, add I'll stuff? Going home with all the griffin hide I can carry. I'd say it's the least I can do. Short of showing him how to make the thing myself. That is, but there are rules against it, secrets of the trade and whatnot. In that case, I'll see that he gets it. I'd be much obliged if you would. Right, I've got some griefs to make. 
you send but yeah, GG's. Morrigan. What's next, Poco? Will do. And thank you. What are we peeping? Hopefully this will sweeten Blackthorn's mood. Treated leather. All right. Back home. It's like 30 hours, but feels like 100. Hmm. Hmm. They do look forward to trying it. Thirty hours tall, decent, uh, decent length. Did you find our mystery ingredient? I did indeed. Marvelous. Let's see. <gasps> What am I supposed to do with this? It's poisonous, surely. You wouldn't be wrong. But that's your unwanted violet. Uh, into the pot it goes, I suppose. Uh, wait here. I won't be long. Surely there's some way to treat it. So it's not as deadly poisonous. I present... Chances stew. Oh, that's why it's called chances stew. Obscurity. Grab a spoon, Sid. Let's eat while it's hot. I'm uh, not hungry. Well, it'll be too late once I've licked the bowl clean. Your loss. You gonna? Is it gonna be dead? What the salt on the senses is like choking on swamp water. And and yet, up through the pungency there rise complex meaty notes. It it takes a moment to recover from such an onslaught of flavours, but never have I tasted anything so fine. Thank you, Sid. Thank you. You're welcome. I share this gift. I won't rest until a steaming bowl of Chancer's stew sits before everyone in the hideaway. A single mouthful, and Molly will be breeding scorpions of her own. Ivan single handedly takes on the curse breakers. Badge of metal, increases defense. Noise, 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 noise. You there. Did you come to borrow a book, Sid? Because you can't have this one till we've finished. The fuck you say? Is there something I might assist you with, Clive? I still remember. The day I first met Tet and Crow. Chasing their father about the hideaway one moment, clinging to their mother's cradle the next. The twins' love for their parents was something to behold, so fierce and pure. When they passed, I feared the void they left in the children's lives could never be filled. Neither spoke, nor smiled for years, hiding themselves away here in the shelves to bury their so uh, sorrows in the leaves of these tomes. And thank goodness they did. For I believe the stories proved a welcome distraction, as over time their pain faded, and now they laugh and frolic as they once did, if not with more vigor. They remind us that no matter how deep our wounds, we all have the capacity to fill, and that happiness lost may be found again. I have a few new notes that I'm gonna level them up. You. Damn you, Harpocrates! Wish to study the tomes. Griffins. Fantastical abominations of nature upon which the crown and wings of an eagle have been fused to the legs and loin of a ferocious land cat. They hunt their prey on high, circling a victim unseen before descending at terrible speeds, claws first, to tear its throat. Should the prey prove more formidable, griffins have also been known to call upon the very winds to slice and suffocate the quarry, 
Fortunately, these predators rarely descend from their mountain lairs, and sightings are few and far between. The Crystalline Orthodox A religion dedicated to the worship of the Mother Crystals, its priesthood enjoy great power, with the Patriarch, leader and chief shepherd of the faithful, the most powerful of all. While best known as the state religion of the insular Iron Kingdom, it, once, it was once practiced throughout Valisthea. To its believers, the Mother Crystals are literal gods, and the wasteful expenditure of ether through the use of magic is strictly forbidden. As such, those who use magic, dominance and bearers both, are seen as subhuman abominations. Ilwarik, dominant of Shiva, and trusted confidant of Clyde, leader of the new Hideaway. Together they continue Sid's mission to emancipate bearers and rid the realm of Mother Crystals. She gets a... Uh, A new portrait, but not a new outfit. I mean, her outfit's actually looking a bit more weathered. Maybe that's just a lighting thing. Yeah, because her hair is also darker. Byron Rossfield, younger brother of the lit, Archduke Elwin and Warden of Port Isolde. After the duchy was incorporated into the Empire and Byron stripped of his titles, he shut himself away in his manor and gladly volunteered every gill of his onerous taxes and tariffs with which he was newly burdened, all to avoid drawing the Empire's ire and to keep their attentions from his support for the Guardians of the Flame. Port Isolde, a port city situated on the southwestern coast of the Imperial Province of Rosaria. Only Rosalith rivals it for size, and in the glory days of Archduke Elwyn's reign, its streets bustled with traders from across Valisthea. Sadly, those days are long since gone, and San Bracois compassion has seen everything, from marketplaces to military institutions, subverted to the will of the Empire. You are always welcome, Clive. Don't talk to me. Wee 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 wee. That monster's taken quite a liking. And with a bit of luck, Clive. Why are you teasing me? How'd it go, Clive? Did you find him, or does the hunt continue? I found him, and he asked me to give you this, along with his regards. He said he wouldn't teach you how to work it, but that if you were as skilled as you sounded, you'd have no trouble understanding how it was done. Uh, so that's his secret. Crafty bastard. He's layered and cross-grained it. Good few times, too. No wonder it's tough. And that's no ordinary oil he's used to get that finish. Oh, this is fine work. Even finer than I thought. Yeah? I'll take your word for it. Just looks like leather to me. Still, I'm glad you're happy. Here, Clive. You didn't happen to catch the fella's name, did you? Camille, I believe. I thought as much. There ain't many leather workers in the realm daft enough to do their own hunting, see? And his name kept cropping up when I was asking around. Turns out, he's from Tabor. And again, most leather workers are. But our friend Camille guards a long-held family secret, the details of which are the subject of some debate in the leather working community. Then we better keep this close to our chests. Have you been on the leather workers' forums or something? Listen, sorry for putting the both of you to all that trouble. Should have kept my moaning to myself. Still, I'm glad you Port, found him. What's up? This is Chip. Thank you for the sleepy up. dogs. That was the idea. Clive's idea, anyway. He did most of the work. It's good to have you back, Blackthorn. Just don't expect me to go turning out work like this. There's a reason he does his own hunting. He knows exactly. This music is going to abruptly change before. after this conversation. That's how he gets them to layer up so nicely. Don't get me started on how much oiling this leather would need. But I reckon I can make something about as good. Something a curse breaker will have no trouble caring for. Anyway, enough narrowing. I've got work to be getting on with. Uh, deal with overtime. Hope it's not Looks like we won't be too troubling on ya. Yeah, I hope you're enjoying No More Heroes as well. Love that game. One of my faves of all time. Anyway. 
everyone spins a yarn you know not a perfect game by any means cups. but uh right, now that's sorted i've got duties to attend to Thanks, one Clay. of the most worthwhile in my opinion Give me my mate back yeah 16 is oh pardon me oh 16 is going excellent still very much enjoying this game drake slayer's belt design draft Diagram detailing the steps to craft a belt fit for a hero. Very stylish and fun mob sections are, but the boss fights cutscenes style. Yeah, that sounds about right. Just beat Shinobu. Both my favorite fight and my favorite song in the game. About the past five years. You've forgotten already, because I haven't. It was a right pain in the arse getting this place into shape, especially with the mess we were in. Not that it was anything new for those of us who put the old hideaway together. Still. I don't mean I intend on doing it again. What's that for you, dear? Electrum, which it seems we can find in a hunt. Gelatinous mass, also in a hunt. Are we gonna be fighting a flan at some point? That it. Fine. Sing a song of six skill, a bag of phoenix down. A pigeon from the rear deck, boiled in Molly's brown. No, go far, kid. Man, now I've got Shinobu steam in my head. Alright. Don't worry, Jill, we'll hang out soon. Yeah, just an amateur. Alright, that's all hunts cleared for now. Oh, I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Is everything we've received and everything promised? A swelling chorus. It used to be I would step into a tavern only to find myself overwhelmed with requests to sing of Dion the Bold or the Coral and the Serving Girl. But now, all anyone wants to hear of is Sid the Outlaw. You've made me a very rich man, my friend. From the Merry Mummer. Dion, that's a familiar name. Is Dion not the... Come again. The I Dragoon? Who fights for Sam Breck, the Dominant of Bahamut? We've heard songs of him before. The Prince? Hmm. I wonder if he is our half brother. He looked a bit young to be, but I guess we'll find out. Well. Oh, sorry, he looked too old. He didn't look 15 at uh, the time he was fighting Odin. He looked, I don't know, 20s? 21? 22? It will be over soon. One way or another. You ready? Uh, I don't know. The grades, I, I didn't ask him his age. <laughs> When you told me you had to come to terms with your past, you weren't talking about destroying Drake's breath, 
Wait. Oh, is that to be a statement? No. I mean, that's what I'm saying. If he was our half brother, he would have been 15 in that cutscene. The leader of because that happened Orthodox. five years ago, which is the man who made me do all those unspeakable things. No, 13, 13 years. To kill him. He would have been 13 years old in that cut, then he definitely wasn't 13. What I need to move forward. Are we talking about Joshua? We are not. And I know that I can do it. If you're there beside me. Always. And I'll be beside you, too. We'll bring down the Mother Crystal together. All while Sid looks on. We'll make him proud. Oh, here we go. Ceiling night from Port Isold. I would have liked to have actually ran around Port Isold. Drake's breath, jutting north from the fiery maw of the sacred mount Rosinus, the mother crystal is a pillar upon which the faith of a cloistered nation rests. Isolde? I mean, I've... I've heard it... many times. Never heard it with the... Oh, they've said it in the game with you, and I didn't hear that. Useful trick. Freezing and thawing the spray to make mist. How did you learn to use your powers like this? War, Clive, you fucking idiot. The masters made me do it. When the crusaders took to the seas to keep the fleet's movements from prying eyes. <clears throat> How'd you get so good at killing people with Shiva, Jill? This may be the only chance I get to go back. My only chance to put things right. I have to do this. Whatever the cost. All right. She is. The Iron Kingdom's mother crystal. Drake's breath. Strong currents, sharp rocks, and ether floods. Let's not forget them. This island is a natural fortress. But safety breeds complacency, allowing a single rowing boat to slip in unseen. The sanctuary is inside the mountain. If we follow the old trail, we should be able to enter by the back gate. All right. Let's go. Fire and ice. Land the uh, I came here would be to reclaim it. References on it's pretty thick. Rosaria, didn't it? Once, though it's been in the iron blood's clutches for far too long. As was I. For thirteen years this rock was my home. I know its secrets only too well. This path was abandoned after an ether flood. They don't guard it anymore. The perfect little shortcut. 
This is great. I saw a uh, sphere hunter posting a very, very sim comparison. Find a little quinky dink. Yeah, I, I, I like the uh, the devs intended it, but it is a cute coincidence. How's my time in that bad? Have it. Our first final ability. Aerial Blast. Summon a tornado that slowly hunts down nearby enemies and upon ensnaring them inflicts multiple hits. Yeah, I've seen Taylor uh, pop it as well. Was that an it does look fun. They happen all the time. That wasn't even a bad one. It's nothing to worry about. Noise. Yeah, I'm here for the dragon's dogmanness of it all. Do not let me see shit. Yeah, who needs the she shit? Why well, see? I was looking forward to seeing what kind of special class soldiers the Iron Kingdom has. Breath of Wind, Aerial Blast. 
Good time to pick that up. That's not all, Scryo. It's also overpowered against small groups of enemies that can be pushed. <laughs> it's great. Look at this place. What a mess. Right, you are, Jill. Wait. Could be some sort of extra sticky more ball. He's gonna cash it. Nothing a shelter for Zarya can't handle. Oh, you get it? Cause he he fought this when he was a shield of Rosaria. Worst breath. Oh, this is near. I appreciate that they've just given him a ton of new abilities. Damn. <laughs> we really just add him right up. Press on. Yes. If I was doing it with like heals, he would have killed me.
but all the same. The damage we could do on him was insane. It's like a furnace in here. Mine just Dennis. You get used to the heat. Though I don't remember it being quite this hot. Was that one cause for concern? It was. And they're getting bigger. Something's wrong. Six, six, six points. We'll upgrade two, then put towards learning a new one. Pile drive. Increase hits and ability radiance. Radius, rather, not radiance. What I meant to do. We had to squeeze the gap through, yeah. There's been too much discourse over gap squeezing. There really has. Alright, I'm guessing this is where we come through. What did you complain about that? They complain about it in every game that it happens in. <sighs> oh, does it not on, uh... On Switch, Boko. Well, that'll do it.
Badabum bum badabum badum badabum bum Oh, we don't get precision. It sort of like replaces a precision, your actual precision attacks for more of a precision mode. For the most part, those disguised loading segments have done pretty well in the games, especially these days. You'd rather have an actual loading screen breaks or giga stutters. Yeah. Just gambers being gambers. Does run smoother with the Steam version. I'll keep that in mind. Fuck. The availability of a discount may at some point play more of a deciding factor, but if that ain't it, then, uh, yeah, good shot. Oh, see, semi priming. First time I've seen Jill semi primed. Is that gonna hurt her? Hmm. Ba ba bum bum ba ba bum ba bum. Bomb. Don't do it! Don't do it, bomb! Ridiculous. Ah, uh, we love to have fun. Yuho, welcome in. Even in numbers, a weakling is a weakling still.
That's like dragon wings within the crystal. Are the crystals somehow linked to dragons? I mean, aside from the name, are they like made from dragons? Port, sleep well. Thanks for chilling with us. Hey, we have a have you motherfucker. Well, whatever it is, I don't think it's friendly. Faraga? I can't use Faraga. They better let me use Faraga at some point. I do love whenever they stagger, just running through the gamut of uh, specials I've currently equipped. Yeah, flans are... Flans are tough, okay? They're not unlike mothers in that way. Mithril wristlets. The appearance of Mithril and Balstay is a fairly recent occurrence. Its history going only as far as back as the fall of the first mother crystal and the emergence of the Deadlands. This led some of the crystalline orthodoxy to preach that the Blight is somehow involved in its creation, therefore making it both impure and unholy. Mordia. A mine! Oh, another Fafnir? But they never leave the lava. If I didn't know better, I think this volcano was about to erupt. Everyone's being all sweaty and hot. Why attack us? They're peaceful creatures. Because this one must be the exception. What?
I'm tapping it! I'm tapping it! Oh, I did not mean to deactivate it straight away, but... Okay, didn't really need to use it anyway. Yeah, Fafnir had a little nickname and everything. They called him Fafnir of the North, so I'm guessing different species. Oh no, he have a slip. Run, you fools! Sorry, the, the Minds of Moria Lord of the Rings references are going to be incessant. Our friend made. Let's hope the guards didn't hear it. The gate to the inner chambers is just up there. Then we make for the sanctuary. I need to finish this before the heat finishes me. Here, here. I want to see what's on the other we path, though. The by the handmaidens' living quarters. It was always a hive of activity. Sounds like we'll have a hard time staying out of sight. We won't have to. There's someone there I should very much like to Three, seven, eight, not yet. Oh no, did I cut myself off from the other path? Darn you, video games.
Missed the legendary treasure. A really cool ship stone. I mean, I can call my chocobo here. That's some bullshit. Jill's peeps, the peeps she was fighting to protect. Jill gets a happy reunion. Better stay happy. Video game. Video games. I'm so glad you're safe. And I you. Ever would you risk coming back? Are you a fool, girl? Or have you grown tired of your freedom already? Forgive me, my lady. But I had to come back. There are things I left undone. Tell me, where is the Patriarch? Are we gonna assassinate? At this hour, he'll be in the Comric, giving thanks. Wait. You mean? Is the Iron Kingdom Ireland? Fiend! Clive, we have to get to the Sanctuary. Now. Lady Marley, you must flee this place, gather your things and go. Now listen here, Jill. We have company. <laughs> this way. She doing a little skedaddle. Follow this passage. It leads straight to the Comric. Stop dawdling. <laughs> yes, I. True enough. You were always so kind to me. My light in the darkness. Take care, my lady, please. You deserve better than this. A long and happy life, promise me. Jill, we're never seeing her again. to do the same hey don't you be planting death flags on Joe like that fuck you the Iron Kingdom an island nation situated off the west coast of Storm with its capital at Craig Loist Despite being a normally nominally a monarchy the patriarch the most powerful priest of the crystalline orthodoxy is in truth the most powerful person in the kingdom. He rules from the Isle of Ben... Lolith? How do you pronounce that? Lolith? More commonly known than in Storm as Mantristanus, 
on which sits the Mother Crystal Dreg's Breath, focal point of the Faith. Here, countless bearers kidnapped from their homes in Storm and Ash are made to suffer in the name of a religion which deems them less than human. I to think, what, what words do I know with DH? Low lead? I think it might be low lead. Marley. Born in the Grand Duchy of Rosaria, Marley was kidnapped by the Iron Blood during their invasion 18 years before and was taken back to the island of Rustanis, where she was forced to serve as a handmaiden for the priest of the Crystalline Orthodox. There she met the young Jill Warwick and took her under her wing, caring for the terrified child as if she were the mother Jill never knew. Drake's Breath, one of Valacia's five remaining mother crystals, located on the volcanic island known to the Iron Blood as Ben Lolid, in the seas between Rosaria and the Iron Kingdom. Though its occupation can historically be traced to the duchy, control of the crystal was recently wrestled from Rosaria's grasp by the Crusade following a series of bitter conflicts. The Inner Sanctum, sacred crystals in which the hearts of the mother crystals are enshrined, believed to have been created before the time of the Fallen. They retain a portentous air, even now, long after mankind has forgotten their significance. We're nearly at the Comrade. All right. Ireland mentioned. I'm not. I'm not with the uh, Ireland coded homies in this one. The troll he does is so extra. Are you saying you wouldn't be doing a little troll beforehand? Are you gonna tell me, your friend PB, that you would not do the troll? The little bunch that the the icon gives whenever Torgal does the the bark, it's cute. How many of them are there? Two.
I thought I might be able to freeze this in midair. He really does be making noises like ah. <laughs> not, not like that, sussy. Or maybe who knows? I'm not gonna judge him. Got me screaming. Clive, there's something I need you to know. I saw the Patriarch do things no one should have to see. And so I swore that he would die by my hand. I understand. I faced my demons, and you must face yours. Here we are, the squad. We're nearly there. Just one last push. I've got threatening souls. I did not want to do it on that fucking man. Die. guy's gonna giga die
Shiva's dominant. Come to beg forgiveness for your failure. For years I followed your orders. Fought your wars. All to protect the children you took. Just as you took me. And what did you do in return? You put them in chains and you slit their throats! Fiend. <laughs> their souls were sullied with a stain of ether. I merely cleansed them of their corruption. A penance paid. Just as the Holy Mother wills it! Repent, abomination! For a monster like you to set foot in the Holy Cymric is in itself a crime deserving of death. Hey, Uchi. You're right. Hello. I am a monster. And my soul is stained black. How you doing? Though not by either. But by the evil of men like you. Who made me close my heart and drown in darkness when I should have raged against it. This is my penance. I will be your monster no more. Nor will I suffer you to create another. <laughs> Did you make me sad and make? No, I'm having a good time. Does the beast sad? Yes. Teeth at its but master. in a good way. Then, the good sad. Rage, be as you have ever been. A monster. And what are you, Imran? I was forced to kill. You do it by choice. But never again. I bowed to you once. Now it is you who shall bow to me. Kill them. <laughs> I can get him. Oh, here comes the boy. Wait, no, the boy's got a whole new outfit on. You wouldn't need to still be in that robed cloak. What in the yuck? Oh, she's so pretty. up sister just once. 
Oh, semi prime is close enough. Oh, liquid flame? That's cute. Little Final Fantasy IV reference. That's, that is four, right? Five. Yeah. I thought it was one of Dr. Lacan's things. With the hand and the tornado. Here I got him uh, associationed with Rubicante. Oh, that's five. Well then. Is it Lugay? Who's Lucan? Lucan is a person in a Final Fantasy. Oh, it actually form changed. That's neat. Lacan is a painter. Oh, you. Can't see shit, Captain. God damn. Can you deactivate the numbers? No, I wish you could. I wish you could deactivate a few things of the UI, but maybe they'll add them over time. Liquid flame. A flame trapped mid-dense, both, both ethereal and corporeal. 
bleeding and enduring, but very much alive. Yeah, I think I was, I was not gonna hold on to that precision dodge accessory forever. It was pretty neat, but uh, I want the, the regular one back. Yeah, I don't know if the numbers a whole time when I'm playing, but I I would like to not have them. Going to finish this climb. You don't get my do find them distracted in Monster Hunter. They really bother me in Monster Hunter. Oh Jesus. Jill, if you fucking die, I swear. Man just watched his god get killed. Stab him. Oh. We destroyed it. What? What? You know, Jill. You sit spite. Monster. Do you have any idea what you have done? I do, father. I have killed the monster and become an outlaw. May the blessing of the crystals go with you. Yay, revenge. It's over. At no cost. It is. And Shiva exacted her price. She did. Again, the burden fell to you. And I bore it willingly. This was a sin for which I had to atone. Now I can continue at your side with my head held high. Torgal. We're having a moment. Hmm, I was expecting another portal appearance. Clive, look. It's just like the one at Phoenix Gate. Oh, what was that beneath it? Look at the thing beneath it. We need to leave. Clive! <laughs> There was a bit beneath it. Okay, so uh, someone else, not a representation of Clive's inner Ifrit self, not Joshua. There is someone else wandering about, looking like a motherfucking Organization 13 member who couldn't afford a cleaner hood. Also known as an Athian. Uh, aren't all Athians like 
weirdly tall with super long necks. Isn't that their whole vibe? Meanwhile... The crystal road on the crystal belt. This is... Oh. This way, your grace. That's the new capital of the uh, Holy Empire of Sunbrick, I believe. Yeah, Joshua, been alive. You're bleeding. I have a tonic which will. Uh, I thank you for your kindness, truly. But I assure you, I will survive. Please, save your medicines for those who need them most. Oh, well. If you're sure. Ah, oh, that was kind of her. For a moment there, I felt my brother's presence. You did? I fear he is in Ultima's thoughts again. Oh no, Joshua's a blade? After five years of silence. Cannot keep him sealed away much longer. Oh wait, yeah, true enough, he did. He did absorb Ultima. No, do not dirty your hands. Look at them all. Like a river flowing to the sea. Tenno Uchi. Moths to a flame, perhaps. The crystalline dominion, their light in the darkness. More and more lose their homes to the blight and set out in search of sanctuary. While others lose their fortunes hard to, to Mechian levies and leave to find new livelihoods. My guess would be like 50%, but. What is it that you see I don't know. in the dominion, Your Grace? Dion Lesage. You mean the Crown Prince of San Breck? He has many titles. Dion the Bold, Prince of Dragoons, Odin's Nemesis, or simply... Attendant to Joshua, companion and protector of Joshua Rossfield, dominant of the Phoenix. As loyal as she is dangerous, her blade is ever at the ready for any who might mean her master ill and her tonics ever at hand to heal the sickly prince's hurts. Joshua addresses her by the name, addresses her by the name Jote, but it is unclear whether or not this is her true name or another pseudonym. Mohammed. I met him once when we were children. He was a chivalrous soul even then and has served his empire indefatigably ever since. And you are Confident that he will listen to what you have Jort. to say. We got our jorts on. Our world lurches ever. Uchi, there's no timer for this game, unfortunately. It's very annoying. The hidden hand ushers us on. Yeah, Yot makes more sense. Ultima's influence extends to every nation, Sunbreak included. If His Highness is the man I believe him to be, and I pray that he is, this truth will not have escaped his notice. As the mother crystals fall, the eternal flame wavers, and the azure sky begins to bruise. How lucky we were to be blessed by the crystals, and yet how spoiled, like canaries in a gilded cage, growing fat on seed. But now, the bars are closing in, and we must take flight. Painful though it be to leave our home behind, it is what we must do to be free. Which is it that men cannot live without? A blessing that leads to damnation, or a freedom that leads to deprivation? 
I do not yet know the answer to that question. Do you, Clive? <coughs> Your Grace, <coughs> let us find a place to rest a while. We can return by the Dalmechian Trail once you have recovered your strength. I realize your duty is pressing, but if your health should fail... I know. Thank you, Yote. Yote? I'm going with Joe. Be like Yote. Oh, you. Meanwhile, Dalmechia. Randella, the Dalmechian Republic. The Ministry of Law. The army's attempt to breach the Empire's defenses and gain the Isles of Ark has failed yet again. Only because your fleet has proved as impotent as a eunuch on laying night. Would you rather we simply fell back to the capital? Enough, both of you. All here agree that the Empire cannot be allowed to maintain its illegitimate claim on the Dominion. However, our casualties mount with each passing day. There is a literal sea twixt you and your prize. The armies of Sambrek need but sit back and watch as you harmlessly lap against their walls. They are dug in like ticks and seek to draw out this siege, knowing the capital's stores are nigh bottomless. And what of our wise rulers? Goaded into war without any thought as to what chaos it might reap. Republican soldiers starve while waiting for orders from Randalar. If you would but take the field, their bellies would be full by nightfall. If I take the field, so too will Bahamut. And our duel will shake the island to its foundations. Instead of liberating the Dominion, you would doom it to destruction. The theory of iconic that deterrence. Is what you desire. Uh, uh, if our learned advisor has a solution to propose, we should be glad to consider it. Hmm. Oh, is that the end? Well, that ain't Dion. What is the meaning of this, Lord Kuka? What it means is that I am disinclined to advise you any longer. What? Ah, the looks on their faces when you walked through those doors. A perfect picture of stupefaction. They could not believe their eyes. Though I confess, I had my own doubts whether or not you would accept my invitation. Such shocking news. Sid isn't a son of a whore. He's the son of an empress. Your own dear Clive. Absurd. Who fed you these lies? I have never spent a moment among criminals, save at the gallows. I came here with my son 
not to entertain your baseless accusations, but to put an end to the senseless hostilities between our nations. Very well. You need only agree to the terms I set out. Sid took the life of someone dear to me. A woman by the name of Benedicta. I swore to take his in turn. This would not be disagreeable to you, I take it. You would finally be rid of the stain on your noble name. In return, I will leave Sandbreck in your capable hands. Your Imperial Majesty. And all for the love of a common whore. <laughs> Dominant or no, one cannot hide one's breeding. And beasts will ever belong with beasts. <laughs> there are greater things in store for you, my darling Olivier. Soon enough, you shall be the crown prince of Sambrec. And when your father goes to meet great Grieger, you shall be emperor of all you survey. The old order shall come tumbling down, and you will rebuild the world in your glorious image. <laughs> Soon. That's okay. I don't get what Kubka gets from that arrangement. Like, he wants to kill Sid, or well, Clive. But that's been his ammo. She's been in there for hours. Like something must be wrong. Forever. What is it that Annabella can provide? Maybe something as the vice reign of uh, Rosaria is home. Hmm. What are you doing now? Why are your feathers black, Mr. Crow? Is it because you spent too long in the Deadlands? It's a fair question. Alright, let me see what Sussy linked here. <laughs> sure. Why not? Why the fuck not? Ask about Drake, Drake's breath. Must have been hot. Bite in the belly of that crag. Might be work for you as a smith when you hang up the old sword. But I'm betting that won't be for a while. I know how hard it can be. Trying to fill another man's boots. But I reckon you've grown to Sid's nicely. He'd be proud. What's that for you, dear? Platinum sword? Platinum sword? I have to buy it and then reinforce it, or I'll craft it and then reinforce it. Platinum makes for a poor blade, being too soft to withstand rigorous use in battle and too expensive for the common soldier to afford. It does, however, allow for ornate designs on crossguard, hilt, and pommel, where the rare, rare metal is most often employed. Not bad, if I do say so myself. Platinum belt will iron, copper, and even gold mines are plentiful in the Twins. There is only one location where white gold has ever been found, southwestern ash. As such, the Kingdom of Walud controls the realm's sole supply of the rare and highly sought after metal, which proceeds from its exports funding the nation's military incursions into Storm. 
a parsec. No scratches, right? Good evening. Hope doing well. You can thank me later. My best work will do. Thank you for the Joes. Hey, Joe. Sid, I... I know that when we came to the hideaway, we chose to let go of our past in order that we might focus on our future. We did. Nonetheless, I was wondering if... Well, I know you are from Rosaria, and I'm in need of someone with intimate knowledge of those lands. Apparently, the duchy is home to all manner of curative herbs found nowhere else in the realm. Among them is a flower called a Morgan beard that increases the potency of lesser medicines. I can't say that I've had much practice healing. My youth was spent in the Bailey. A shame. You see... The hideaway relies heavily upon medicines procured from afar. And when those shipments are late, well, it's our sick who suffer. If we could find this flower and learn to grow it here, we might save many lives. However, as you are well aware, Imperial occupation has rendered the roads unsafe for those like me, untrained in the military arts. Now, I'm not asking the busiest man in the hideaway to drop everything and make the journey for me, but... If you happen to be in the duchy on other business... Tell me of these Morgan beards, then. But of course, if my old tomes are to be believed, the flowers are bright yellow and as large as goblins' eyes. Oh, and they grow in the marshes of Sorrowise. If I am to propagate them here in the backyard, I will require several samples, preferably of blooms, which have already gone to seed. And before I forget, I do seem to recall learning in the course of my research that their odor has the tendency to attract unsavory creatures. Nothing you cannot handle, though, I'm sure. That's a big ass assumption. If it is two flans, I'm fucked. Let us know if you find it. If you need out, just ask Nan. She's got a load of new stock in. Don't just stand there gawping. Want to pat in the bag, do you? Well, I suppose you deserve one. Just don't let it go to your head. From what I hear... You'd have been lost without Jill, to say nothing of yours truly. If it wasn't for me, keeping you fed and kitted out, you'd neither of you have stood a chance. But, fair is fair. You took the chance I gave you and brought the whole bloody mountain down. Hit the iron blood, couldn't believe their eyes. We'll just have to find someone else to worship. Of course, there's plenty of other folks in these fair isles who still reckon those rocks are worth more than their weight in diamonds. So you keep doing what you're doing, and show them how wrong they are. It's coin they want to put their faith in, and as long as you keep coughing it up, my faith will stay with you. If you're gonna buy some, be quick about it. They've done nothing with goods. You're me blind, you yeah, he's not exactly an active character. Is that all? You look like you could do with a drink. That's what we like to hear. Knock them back, everyone. Sid's buying. 
Yeah. Go, go, go. Don't be a stranger, Sid. <laughs> Are these all my Discord kittens? That's what I like. Is there something I might assist you with, Clark? Not supposed to have more than one? I would never. And so it is done. You chat are my Discord kitten. A feat five long years in the making. While the mother crystals with the mother crystals final cry, a legacy has passed from one outlaw to the next. The tale is far from over. And though we cannot know if it'll end in triumph or tragedy, I only pray that I'm there to bear witness. Clive? If you would like to see them. Is there someone called Clive? Now this I believe you will find most interesting. The Holy Order of Shields of the Blackened Pinion. The official name of the Order of Knights established in the Imperial Province of Rosaria, who persecute and purge bearers and those who shield them. Commonly known as the Black Shield after the color of their armor. A hue seemingly chosen to differentiate this new elite order from the silver-clad dragoons. Unlike the heroic dragoons, however, they are feared and loathed throughout the Imperial province. Craig Lois, the capital city of Heran, or the Iron Kingdom, located on the boiling sea iron island of Ironholm, several hundred leagues off the western coast of Rosaria. Its name means charred rock in Herani tongue. Okay, so we're never going to visit. The Iron Kingdom proper. Drake's Eye, a mother crystal which stood in the frozen wastes of Northern Storm, lands now lost to the Blight. Soon after the mother first fell, the tribes of the north in a bit of desperation marched south into Rosaria, Shiva's dominant at their fore. A terrible battle ensued in which fire was pitted against ice, but eventually the Phoenix and the Jukal army succeeded in driving back the invaders for a time. What subject shall we consider today? The Iron Kingdom, an island situated, uh, Iron Nation, sorry. Island Nation situated off the west coast of Storm with its capital at Craig Loist. In the year 878, its mother crystal, Drake's Breath, was destroyed in an attack launched by Sid the Outlaw. The loss of the crystal and of the patriarch, chief of the priests who served it, plunged the kingdom into chaos leaving this monarchy wanting for a leader beyond its politically impotent royalty. Drake's Breath, a mother crystal that once commanded the waters between Rosaria and the Iron Kingdom. After centuries of bitter conflict, the Iron Blood took control of the crystal and the island upon which it stood. That is, until the year 878, when the Sacred Spire was brought crashing down by none other than Sid the Outlaw. High Priest Imran Patriarch of the Crystalline Orthodox, a zealous believer in the Orthodox's teaching that bearers and dominance are unclean creatures born of sin, he conducted the sacrificial slaughter of bearers, claiming that he was merely cleansing them of their corruption. Slain by Jill Warwick on her return to the Iron Kingdom, in answer not only for the crimes he committed, but those he forced her to commit in the name of her cru his crusade. Yeah, this is the Sacred Dublin Spire, pretty much. Liquid Flame. An ever-shifting mass of living flame that rose from the fiery pools of Drake's breath in what appeared to be response to an unwanted trespass into the Mother Crystal's inner sanctum. Possessed with both the swiftness and temper of an untamed wildfire, the creature rained fury down upon the intruders, wielding the molten lifeblood of sacred mud dressed in us like it were but fistfuls of mud. Plan Massive amorphous beings capable of bending and distorting their gelatinous forms into almost any shape imaginable making them not only notoriously difficult to find, but almost entirely impossible to kill. As most cuts merely melt back into the existing flesh within a matter of moments, these creatures can be found in all corners of Valisthea, though their height and sensitivity to the subtleties of their environs means that their outward hue can vary wildly from region to region. Hence the variety of names. Bar Bavarois, 
gelato, and pool by which they are known. You are always welcome, Clive. Farewell, Drake's breath. All right, Sid. You made it back in one piece, then. All right, Nimoy. You fucking trifler. Uh, ah. Oh. Whatever am I to do now, Clive? About what? I've two dresses that need stitching, but I haven't got a scrap of linen. Those girls' rags are so threadbare. Then I'd say sleep well. Thanks for hanging with us. GG's on getting through Monday. Certain amount of decorum must be the week Even here has begun way. to kind of The poor thing's going without decent clothes now, would you? Of course not. What can I do to help? Oh, aren't you a dear? You see, I've paid for two bolts of cloth from the drapers in Northreach, blue and red. But they don't deliver, not to places that aren't on the map anyway, so I'll need someone to take this receipt and collect them. And you'd have this someone be me? I would. And don't let them fob you off with anything less than what I paid for. One bolt of blue and one of red. I expect them both. Wah, 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 wah. They said they'd give us new clothes, but we've no coin. I guess I just go and collect clothes for people now. Ah, my favorite pupil. Ask about the crystalline dominion. My beloved homeland. Crossroads of Valisthea, where one only has to stroll the streets to hear news from every far-flung corner of the realm. Its mother crystal yields more shards than any other, and its lands even now remain untouched by the blight. It is a blessed country indeed. Or at least it was. Until Sam Breck elected to invade and establish a new holy capital upon twin sides, heretofore on neutral shores. It pains me to see the land I love so changed. And even more to know that I did not predict it. I knew that Emperor Sylvester had designs on the Dominion, but to abandon Oriflam, the seat of the Holy Empire since its inception, seemed too audacious a move even for him. What is it that you wish to learn? Wagwan. Lamau Death. Medicine girl, just hanging out. Bless. Wah. Fucking everyone in Rosari is dying. Here you are. Siege of the Crystalline Dominion. The Crystalline Impasse, a conflict fought between the Holy Empire of Sambrek and the Republic of Dalmachia in the year 878, largely concerning control of the Crystalline Dominion. The Dominion had previously been the subject of a non-aggression pact between Valisthea and nations, but in 873, the Empire claimed twin side for its new capital, an act which eventually spurred the Dalmachs into military action. This is neat. The Imperial Army versus the Men of the Fist. Allow me to explain again. I love this. This reminds me of like the, the cutscenes of like Kassan opening up into one of the next battles or 
some strategy game like that. Very good. Tell me about your adventures, Nectar. Did I ever tell you about the time I visited the Great Continent, Kupo? I don't think so. Of course I didn't, because I've never been. Look at these wings. They look like the sort that might carry a Moogle across countless leagues of open sea. They call me Nectar the Bold, not Nectar the Stupid. Kupo. That was good. Punch him into the board. Two new monsters. We have Secret. That's one of the names of... That's the name of one of the brothers. The Brother GF. I think we've had both at the same time. You cards. While Minotaurs have long dwelled in the mountainous regions of Rosaria, it is only recently that they have come down from the highlands to hunt in the swamps surrounding Martha's Rest. Among their number is one whose sheer size suggested to be a chieftain, who appears to be spearheading the push scythe. He must be stopped, lest the beastmen develop designs on the rest proper. Severian, a particularly belligerent breed of Echo, has recently awakened amid the fallen ruins near Martha's Rest. It is known to activate on approach of any human, armed or unarmed, and sets about them with a burning jet that has already reduced much of the surrounding mainland to ash. This is one Echo that the Cursebreakers could fain see forever silenced. That Mughal did dunk on me. Surely did. I've done what I can, but the rest is up to you. You need to start taking better care of yourself. Uh understood. And thank you. Uh the curse has spread. Make sure she rests. I will never know she had her bobs out. If it hurts, you can tell me, you know. I'll understand. I can bear it. But you shouldn't have to. Not anymore. This isn't just your struggle, Clive. It's ours. And when we see how hard you fight, it inspires us to do the same. Or would you rather we left you to save the world all on your own? No. That's not... Ignore me. Gav, I'm gonna take your other fucking eye. In here. You son of a bitch. What's wrong? Those areas under attack. Ah. Ah, so that's what she did. She pretty much opened Rosaria. This isn't the Dalmechian army we're talking about. Yep. It's the men of the rock from Drake's Fang. Hugo Coop has probably given Hugo open passage to draw him out. There is in hell in Rosalind. All right, that's He's trying to batter down the castle gates. Looking for me, not a bad trade. Seems that way. Reckon old Hugo has finally worked out who Sid really is. Then this is just another trap. Ah, uh, it's a trap, all right. The daddy of all fucking traps. going to Rosaleth. You're not serious. That's exactly what he wants you to do, Clive. Look, I don't know why Kuka harbors such a grudge against Sid, but as long as it's left to fester, our world will never know peace. He has dragged the rest of Storm into this pointless war just to find me. Beside which, 
I'm not about to stand and watch while my home gets ground into the dirt. Hugo Kuka must die. I've lost enough friends to that man already. I don't want to lose any more. So let's go and kill the bastard. I'm coming too. After all, we're in this together. All right. Shiva versus Titan, round two. Let me do an icon fight as Shiva. I should probably speak to Otto before leaving. Please. We need to know what we're getting ourselves into. All right, but first of all, chat, I'm going to take a quick break. Got to refill my glass of water. Use the restroom, all that good stuff. Suggest y'all do the same. Stretch yourselves. Stretch all the limbs you have. And also some other extremities. Uh, until I get back, here is the music of Final Fantasy XIV. Here
All right, we are back. And it turns out I have enough ability points to get myself one of these upgrades at least. Increases claw range. Uh, increased number of lock-ons. Yeah, I like that. I mean, claw range would be good too. Starge, were you having a sleep? Were you awoken from your sleep? Back to Rosalith then. Whatever has become of her. A little bit. I hope it was a good nap. I should have had one today as well. Catch up on some sleeps, but hey ho. When is this gonna unlock? So curious. Was dreaming of the pixel remaster? You want it so bad? Any game in particular you're thinking of? Oh, what? Axe is. Axe is asking it. Never mind me. <sighs> sure, it doesn't matter what I say, does it? Hey? 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 Five? We must be ready to leave for Rosalith at a moment's notice. Don't worry. Gov gave you the news then. We're leaving for Rosalith. But not before I know exactly what's going on. Buying that fucking AEW game? Nobody was expecting the Delmex to open up a new front against the Empire, least of all. Because you're a fucking fool ass fool. Reports have been rolling in from all over the place. We're I mean AEW might not get another game, so I've been passing them on to Vivian in the hope she can make sense of them. Why not? If you set on going, you'll want to talk to her. Understood. Summer seal? I thought Steam was starting fairly soon. All right, I gotta write down where these fellers are. They're both in Rosaria. West of Rhiannon's Ride. North of Sorrow Eyes. Steam is Thursday, most likely. Should put some money aside for it. Ah, if it isn't my favorite pupil. Let's see now, where did we leave? Well, this is a surprise. My lectures are rarely so well attended. Got two severance payments coming. A little knowledge, uh, can't hurt. I know it's time to spend them all on the yeah, Steam seals, but... <laughs> What's the situation there? Whoa there, Lord Rossfield. Good you get in though. I'm sure it's you're solid. jumping at the bit to return to your roost. But to fully understand the present situation, one must first understand how it came to be. Let us begin with the story of Hugo Kupka or the permanent economic advisor to the Dalmekian government, to give him his formal title. In a republic founded on commerce, there could hardly be a more influential position. It has granted him both extraordinary wealth and extraordinary power. Not that he ever wanted for the latter. Being Titan's dominant, he is also Dalmekia's last line of defense, a fact he has used to his considerable advantage. Why, he was even able to pry Drake's fang, one of the pillars of the Republic, from Parliament's grip. And he was quick to buy the loyalty of the fang's protectors. Today they are his faithful creatures, a private army in all but name. The self-same army that marches upon Rosarian soil as we speak. By which I mean Imperial soil, not that you need reminding of the fact. Suffice it to say, the Empire's attentions are elsewhere at present, deadlocked as it is with Dalmechia over its occupation of the Crystalline Dominion, where its legions are now gathered. 
Scarcely a handful of garrisons remain to secure its western provinces, and half of them left after the fall of Drake's breath. With the threat of the Ironblood thus diminished, they had little cause to fear a maritime invasion. And so today, only a token force guards the former duchy's shores, as Kupka was quick to descry. He landed his troops on the Rosarian coast without encountering so much as a single ship. All for you, Clive. He wants your head. And so he and his men advance upon Rosalith, not to capture the province, but to draw you out. You said Kupka's forces sailed up the coast. What of Port Isolde, then? Is the city safe? Quite, according to the Guardians of the Flame. The Dalmechian fleet floated by without incident. But not without remark. When they learned Kupka's forces were making for Rosalith, our friends were quick to begin arranging the exodus of her citizens. And so the stage will soon be set for your heroic homecoming. Alas. It will be a more trying task to enter the capital than it was to leave it. Hugo's men hold Buit Bridge, despite the Imperials' repeated attacks. Isn't that the bridge we just from their fought? And they were the Black Shields at? The Empire's mistake in neglecting their coastal defenses. The seas around Rosalith are firmly under Dalmechian control. So tell me, pupil mine, what do you believe to be the best route to Rosalith? The north. They cross the northern border near Phoenix Gate, then take the road through Stillwind down to the capital. Hardly the quickest route, but at least we won't be spotted. A little local knowledge goes a long way, and so must you. We'd best get a move on then. Oh, will you be going too? I? I've been waiting a long time to give that fucker a taste of his own medicine. I would have missed this for the world. Right. Rest in peace, Gab. We should be on our way. Lead on. It was nice knowing you. All right. Rhiannon's ride in Sorrowwind. Or Sorrowwise, rather. They're Sorrowwise. Where's Rhiannon's? Rhiannon's Rise? Oh, Rhiannon's Ride, rather. Okay, so from Rhiannon's Ride to the northern portion of Sorrowwise, down to the root of the problem. Where's Northreach? Ah, it's over here. Well, we'll do this first then. God, Munich has got att attacked and lost his eye. Hmm. 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 Let's hope the draper has Hortensis cloth. All anyone ever wants. Water grip? They got no table grip? Might I interest you in some swans down? Perhaps some seersucker. Or herringbone? Just some linen. Two bolts. Already paid for in full. Apologies, my lord, but your items aren't here. They were due to arrive on a caravan from Boklad, but there's been little traffic on the road these past few days. My mother thinks it might be bandits, but she always thinks it's bandits. It usually is. So I assume the caravan will be coming from the south? Yes, hopefully carrying all manner of spice and sundries. Wait, you aren't thinking of... Going to find it. That's exactly what I'm thinking. Oh. 
Well then, be safe. <laughs> That's a, it's not my problem statement, if ever I heard one. Oh, I want to see if Gav was my guest. What? I don't recognize you. And therefore, you must die. <laughs> There's no climb of maniacs here. Just water. It's not hot. <laughs> uh, that's good. Run like the wind. Is it, is it a matter of coolness, Sarge? That damn bird's a menace. She made Thanks, it. girl. I swear. I'll go on here. Who's gonna buy my wares now? State your animals left them in. But they hardly damage us all. Is hey, Sabrini. Are you doing? If you're a bandit come to steal my stuff, you're going to be sorely disappointed. And all thanks to this fool. But it, it was you who stepped into my path. Only after that feather brain trampled me. I demand recompense, be it in coin or the items you carry. Refuse and I shall report you to the garrison. Sounds like a grift. These these goods are expected in Northreach. I mean, they're not mine to give away. You wouldn't happen to be on your way from Boklad, would you? I, I, I am. But, um, did someone from the market send you? Please, please, you have to help me. I, I can pay whatever you ask. So the fool has protection. And coin, too. Sorry, friend. But we'll be the ones taking it. Oi! Killer! It's time to collect. Killer from One Piece? I told you not to call me that. And we'd have already collected if you hadn't insisted we'd put on this. Vibin, we love a good vibe. <laughs> As I told one of your customers, it usually is. Let's get this over with. Clyde's becoming like a little more. I'll deal with the bird lover. You take the answer, one killer. A little more uh, confident. Cool in his own right. But Yeah, I got one for being uh, just really cool.
There we go. Bum, 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 bum. bum. Ramu. Yeah, I'm gonna switch it out soon. Sorry, to the game. Killer my ass. Are we just gonna let him run? It's okay because he wasn't the one actually trying to kill him. He just intent on letting the bandit do his dirty work for him, and he would have succeeded had the great lender not sent you. My shipment is safe, and my livelihood with it. You must allow me to reward you. We can speak of that once you're safe in Northreach. I'll accompany you there. I might start getting the extra monies. Else was I. Don't you be saying. Don't you be saying no accessories. So you and my mother were right. It is always bandits. And were it not for the kindness of our free sword here, you'd be buying your order back from them at twice the price. Now, if you don't mind, I have a pressing appointment at the Vale before my return to Boklad. Uh, farewell. Oh, I almost forgot. I suppose you'll be wanting your linen. You'll be happy to know both bolts arrived safely along with the rest of the delivery. I've also added a few extra lengths of our finest fabrics to the bundle. Free of charge. Why, thank sure. you. My mother would insist. It's the least we can do for the man who saved our shipment. How's that done then? They're in the Dubai, yeah, except the, the songs. That's true. But... I do wish to change my dodge back to normal. Sarge cannot handle the funk. Confirmed. All right. Where was I starting from? Rhiannon. Right. Rhiannon's ride, so we'll start from East Pool. Head down west of Rhiannon's ride specifically. Remember, why do we come through here? The dim. Oh, East Pool is where. Fucking Murdoch's wife used to live. Now it's a bandit hideout. That's sad. All right, west of Rhiannon's ride, so it's got to be somewhere here. We will search the area thoroughly. Mm -hmm. 
Oh! <laughs> oh no, you don't get to run away now. You're fucked. He shouldn't have hit me as much as he did. Fly Ambrosia. <laughs> Sussy requested to be informed of when I sneeze. Is it going to be sold as content somewhere? A rest. Thank you for the blesses. Secret. Rank. Bay. Clive has also inherited Sid's dad jokes. I have to stop getting hit, but I got to use it. God damn.
We got him. <laughs> he he bonked me a couple times. Peb Pebs, how you doing? Uh, I am doing a okay. PB also hope Peb Pebs. Good. I had a pretty wonderful time with this game. That'd be my response to everyone just like obsessed. Truly. All right, so that is the one west of Rhiannon's ride. Now we're heading for north of Sorrowise. We have to pass through Martha's Rest for that first. Stock up on potions while we're there. The side quests have become a lot more bearable whenever, like, you're out doing bounties and stuff and, and when they have, like, fights in them. They haven't really improved in terms of the, uh, structure or what you actually do in them. The occasional fight, but... I, I do think that they give nice little side stories about the various societies you're going through. Or uh, even building like much. your relationships there you go. with uh, like say people from Pretty the hideaway. Well. Thank you for sticking with us. Those of us who are still here have to look after each other, don't we? It'll take ages to tidy all this. Your Torgal. <laughs> Getting old, that doggy. No use calling Ambrosia now. Let's go. Faster. Somewhere here is that bounty. I think it was a drake of some sorts. Can't remember what exactly. Be safe. Oh, there it is. Oh no, it was, an, it was a echo. It's a variant. That's a big old damage. God damn.
Oh, the tornado's following him? God damn, that's handy. You read that gate. You read that gate. Oh, ho. Yeah, it was a tough one. I do like those fights for the challenge that they add. Electrum. Valathan prospectors have yet to locate a source of naturally occurring Electrum. The only known samples coming from the remains of fallen automata. Automata? This has led some to surmise that the metal is not in fact naturally occurring at all, and rather a creation of the lost people. Obtained by defeating Severian. Used all my potions and tonics fighting that thing. Holy shit. Okay, so I'm aiming to learn another big one. It'll be Flame's Rebirth. Goblin Gardener? If I'm gardening? <laughs> oh, I see they're gardeners because they heal. More of them. Oh. Bright yellow. These are on size of the goblin Attracted to the flowers, though. Yeah. 
Oh. Oh, don't that thought was heat wave. The flower for me. Put it away, you absolute tart. Hopefully this will be enough. I've had my fill of goblins. Do goblins fuck? Clive. I'll have to peruse Sorry. some online Sorry. comics Sorry. for this information. You get my order, didn't you? Don't worry. I have it. I believe this will more than satisfy your needs. <gasps> Let's see here. One bolt of red, one bolt of blue. What's this? I don't recall ordering any silk or velvet or... Is this gold work? Gregor's ghost. If that devil of a draper expects me to pay for these. You needn't worry on that score, Hortense. They were a gift. For services rendered. I can always return them if you like. Oh, no. Oh, if there's no need to be hasty now, Clive. I'm sure I can put all three to good use. Speaking of which, which one's most to your liking? Hmm? I don't know. Hmm, give me that red velvet. Rosarian colors. This one, I suppose. Half a mind to give a piece to Jill. Did you know she's oh. quite a little seamstress? <laughs> I know Needlecraft was amongst her lessons at the castle. Her lessons? Oh, that's right. The two of you were raised together in Rosalith, weren't you? Not quite together, but... When my father put down the uprising in the Northern Territories, Jill was taken as a ward to ensure that her father, the Silvermane, would keep the peace. She's an honest-to-goodness princess then, isn't she? I could tell, you know. Some people just have that air about them. Not many round here, mind. I'd offer to sew her something that might better suit her station. But she'd most likely turn me down, as she always does. Tell me not to waste the fabric when it's better used on the children. Don't take it the wrong way. She certainly seems to be attached to the last outfit you made. <laughs> you seem to. Oh. <laughs> You've beheld Sometimes it. Sometimes I think she never takes it off. <laughs> <laughs> well, perhaps she'll make something for herself with your gift. Either way, I'm sure she won't turn it down. We'll see, I suppose. Joe going to put on a red dress. Said she'd give us our dresses soon. Said they'd be made of linen. We must be ready to leave. <laughs> this scrabbled onto the floor and just banging on the boards. Starts side and kept eating his fudgical. Take care, Clive. You go fucking proper nasty like. And clever too. Alright, I got something. Can you make something for me? What's saying for you, dear? Drake Slayer's belt. And with the cry that echoed through the sky, she thrust her sword down into the mighty Drek's nip. Life having escaped the Elder Worm, he went crashing into the sea where his corpse lay, unmoving, yet unsinking. No scratches, right? Yeah, yeah, I heard. They told me you were like, hmm, on the TV. 
Kojima. Tami Hayashita. Hayashita, rather. She's your favorite. Oh, the Tami Hayashita. Direct it's quote. That we see you so often in the backyard, Sid. What brings you to the gardens? Morgan Beard. This rare flora has the unfortunate honor of being named for the water spirits that are believed to hunt the swamps of the Eastern Storm. Trapping hapless wonders in the morass that they might sup in the hope in their hearts. Infusions brewed from this flower's petals, by contrast, are quite tasty and known to cure all manner of ailments. I found your flowers. Yes, yes, wonderful. These are almost identical to the plates in my tongue. Did you have any trouble locating them? Finding them was the easy part, but it's odd. They... Remind me of my childhood somehow. Wouldn't Joshua always be? Flowers specifically, but you must have grown them in the castle garden. On that medicine? The petals are meant to improve the effectiveness of medicines. It's possible that the core physicus grew them for the tinctures and treatments they made my brother. Joshua smells the like flowers. Confirmed. Properties. That is all the more reason to begin growing our own supply here. Oh, allow me to use some of the flowers you brought me to make something that might aid you on your travels. I need only a moment to extract the essence from the petals. <laughs> and here we are. A phial of pure Morgan Beard extract. A single drop added to any one of your restoratives will increase its potency. At least I hope it will. Hmm. I say... Add in time. Why not? Adding but a drop of this concentrated extract to any curative or performance enhancing potion will increase its potency, or so insists Nigel of the backyard. So it's just a straight up Estus upgrade. Bye, no angel. You've obtained a file of Morgan Beard extract, hereby increasing the potency of most of most consumables. Both potions and high potions that restore more HP, while strength, stone skin, and lion heart tonics last longer. Let's see about planting those yeah. seeds then. I need to decide what other morning game to start next week. I'm going to try and make an effort of making sure that I play at least one PlayStation Plus and one Game Pass game every month from now on because uh, there's a lot of them. They keep piling up. And I pay for them every month, so I may as well play them every month, right? Divinity. Bad game. Cancelled. It's freedom. You're rubbing me blind, you know. It'd better all be here. Wait, little guy. Did I check him since we came back from... Yeah. It's the crow. Alright, just want to see what... Upgrades we have from Lady over here, and then we're making for Rosalith. It might be the last thing we do tonight, but that's some good progress. That's like we must be ready to leave for two solid levels. Don't worry. Welcome to the Patron's Whisper. 
Come to claim your just desserts. Prayer for safe travels. They say it is your men who keep the, lo the road free of beast and bandit. As one whose livelihood is reliant on safe passage from market to market, my chocobos and I thank you. Here Concerned you Carvenir. Come again. Well, I may have more. that's pretty good, because I just started putting on the Craig's Medallion again. 40%. Oh, yeah. We're going to be healing with the best of them. And now, to Rosalith. Though long claimed by the Empire, Rosalith Castle's tiring ivory walls still serve as a reminder to all Rosarians of the Duchy's pride past. Bum bum. Oh shit. Gates at once. I wonder what kind of specialist trips the Dalmakians are going to have. Sambraqua had dragoons and cannoneers. Walud has ninja. Iron Kingdom had like big berserker dudes. Really Play some boring JRPG. Almost like they want wow. to wipe it off the map. Just a means to an end. No, it's probably gonna be a shorter one given that we're gonna have Breath of the Wild in the other morning slot. Oh no. All this for one man. They didn't have to go so far. Someone carved me a little chocobo. If you keep your wits about you. I reckon you can make it up to the castle without raising the alarm. I'll sniff out any townsfolk who haven't escaped yet and send them on the way. Be careful. No, oh, this for fucking Clive. Anything I wouldn't do. Clive? His name's Clive? She said. Shining resins for free and play through. Well, someone's got to beat it. I beat the games that Pimmy cannot. That and Final Fantasy 13. A nightmare. This was our home. Come on, Clive. We have to keep going. Capital punishment. <laughs> Time to fuck up some Dalmakians. Uh, yep.
Good start. Want to hear my take on something? Uh, sure. If I have one. Man, she really needs some milk. Wasn't too difficult. You're a follower of a Twitch channel for two years and you randomly got timed up for 10 seconds for no reason with no setup or warning. Uh, I mean, it depends on the rapport that I had with the streamer. Like, if Runer, Teeler, or Starge did that. Because we have a history of, you know, fucking about with each other. I would find that funny. Possibly. It really, you know, it... it primarily depends on the, the relationship you have with the streamer in question. Not Poco. But yeah, like I say, you know, if you and the streamer joke about each other like that, I probably wouldn't take it too hardly either way, personally, but I'm not you, so I can't tell you how to take it. Starting drama, uh, dude. I don't know. I I, <laughs> I avoid these kind of situations most of the time. Ooh. 
personally, I would not consider it starting drama. Definitely not. If someone got to, you know, talk to me privately, especially if I knew them, like if we had talked privately before, I would not consider it that way. But I'm, you know, entirely divorced from the context here. I don't know this person or your history with them. Not what kind of humor they have. Uh, I mean, yeah. If I did something that upset someone, I would... Most likely, I'd like to think I'd apologize. Even if I didn't think that I personally did anything too wrong, I would, you know, try to appreciate their side. But of course, you know, ego can get wrapped up in these things. For anyone, including myself. Uh, yeah. It's the outcome out of my city before die. I wonder if those, uh, those guys with the Tonfa, they feel like alchemisty style. Nah, it's okay, Peb Pebs. I don't mind. I may not have it, uh, I've had, you know, a helpful or appropriate answer, but... Sometimes, you know, asking these questions can more help you think it out. Is there another fucking... There is. Nope, that's not the guy. Level up. Set her loose. Another war panther. Oh, no. They have a curl. It is a curl. Torgo could take it. Attack! Here comes Ready. the boy. What do you think?
building up to something. We need to stop it. Whatever it takes. It's down. Oh. Let's make this count. Neat. Ah, too far away. Oh. I'm so jealous of Rin's curl tattoo. It's the correct choice. Battle theme. My battle theme, or rather, my victory theme. Whisker, or sorry, curl whisker. Surprisingly, dissection of a curl's whisker shows it to be composed almost entirely of metal. While this would go some way to explain why some curls can channel lightning, it raises the question of how the metal got there in the first place. Aww. Oh, rest in peace. Ah! Jill! We meet at last, Sid. Or should I say, Lord Rosfield? I've been looking for you for a very long time. Let her go, Kuka. <laughs> I'm so glad you accepted my invitation. I went to some trouble with the decorations. Do you like what I've done with the place? Bastard! <laughs> Such a pity your predecessor couldn't join us. But I am sure you will prove compelling company. Be still, little snowflake. I would not have you melt before your starring moment. To the festivities. By the way, it's been explained in a, a lore thing that these shackles have uh, crystals embedded in them at certain frequencies that essentially stop people from accessing ether, so 
No magic. No priming. Just great, that is. I suppose it's up to me then. <sighs> I don't want Gav to die now. I changed my mind. I mean, I never wanted him to die, but I'm now willing it not to happen. Damn. Where do you want me? Big Fiella. I made my choice. No. You bring the prisoner. <laughs> yes, yeah, no more than she deserves for getting into bed with an outlaw. <laughs> we should get into mine. Lord Kupka commands your presence. You're to bear witness to the girl's execution. Such a waste. <laughs> yes, Gav! <laughs> My guy. Gav. Shh. Crystal fetters are a bastard to open, just so you know. Don't worry, I'll have them off before you can blink. Where's Jill? In the courtyard. Shit. We have to hurry. The Imperials have sounded the retreat and cleared out of the castle. But the place is still swarming with Kupka's men. Leave them to me. I'll make my way up top and circle round the back. Quick as you like, eh? Nearly forgot. Hold on, Jill. I'm coming. That is a cool sword. I have to get to the courtyard. You've got a plan, Clive, because we are fucked if you don't. That gleam in Torval's eye. What was that? What the hell? <laughs> what the fuck? Is it going to turn like Torgal's Fenrir or something? Is he Fenrir's dominant? Come, come. The first dog dominant is gonna happen. Don't tell me you tire of my entertainment. Enough. Yes, 
Perhaps it is time we served the main repast. I trust you are hungry! Is this what he gets us for spending so much time around? This. Much obliged. Stay close. We're getting out of here. Around dominance and Thank you. constant ether. Animals can be stand users, it is true. Now, You got a cash it. Okay, now. Get him, Torgle. No, I turned around to the wrong thing. That was very annoying. My magic ass dog. Oh, we got some assassins. Oh, that's what they are. They're assassins. It's over. For now. But I bet that wasn't the last of them. And they won't stop hunting us until Koopk is dead. So you get in there and finish the job, eh? Go on. 
If they come again, we'll hold them back. All right. But be careful. I'm guessing that Kupka is not going to be as hesitant about flattening Roslith if it comes to it. Now we are giga healed. Is he gonna be on my me papa's throne? Kuka. You're late. Trouble on the way. Oh, not quite. Just enjoying your entertainment. How gratifying. Have you come to defend your father's throne, Lord Rosfield? <laughs> the Grand Duchy of Rosaria. A realm without a ruler, an army, even a people. A veritable kingdom of dust. Truly, I see no throne to defend. No! Hold me Papa's chair. Enough of your games, Kupka. Just tell me what you want. Sid's head in a box. Imagine my disappointment when I learned that he met his end at the hand of another. And my relief to learn that you had taken up his thrice damned name. Your master slew Benedicta Harmon and defiled her body. If you choose to bear that murderer's name, then you shall answer for his crimes. The only crimes I shall answer for are my own. Sid did everything in his power to save that woman, though she was long past saving. And so I did what he couldn't. It was me all along, Hugo. It was... you. You... you killed her. I did. I am fortunate indeed. Clive going sicko mode. I had thought the most I could wish for was to take the life of one he loved, just as he did to me. But it seems I was wrong. And I shall have my revenge. We shared a dream. I would be the king of the world. She would be my queen. And together, we would rule like the gods we are. But you crushed that dream 
I mean, they're not quite bare hands. And what of you? How many people have you killed? How many dreams have you crushed? You're not the only one who's seen their world fall apart around them. You'll get no pity from me, Kuka. No pity. And no mercy. <laughs> I'm gonna learn your own GS pyre against you. That was pretty neat. The graves of my four bears. My father was the fourth bear. Now is not the time for blind justice. Oh. Oh.
keep forgetting that my fucking triangle is a kind dirt. What do you know about my four daddies? Lamal. Tried to block it. Fucker. That was an excellent fight. Holy shit. Earth Shard. The power of the Icon Titan made manifest. The crystal is as heavy as marble and can be heard to emit a soft hum when held to the ear.
Oh, that hurt. Oh, we get in that Titan Zippy. Surely hurts. get yourself worked up wait no titan fight another time mythos oh we've seen this dude before i'm trying to think of where So, well, Luda scum. Who the fuck invited them? Ah, we saw him when he was in the room with uh, the biggest surprise we've had to Benedicta, do. I believe. He was one of our attendants in the 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 talks between Walud and Domek and Republic yourself? at the very start of the game. Gav, we have to find Clive. Right. Sorry. <sighs> What happened to the dog? The dog went super saiyan. We were worried. So was I. Man, both Jill and Gab surviving. You fucking love to see it. I was so close. If it hadn't been for my gift, I would have finished him. I'm just glad you got out of there alive. When did the royalists arrive? Right after you went inside. Just when we thought we were shot of Titans, lot. In pile Odins. Not enough of them to worry us, though. No. You didn't see the one who took Kuka away. So, what? You think they came here to save him? I'll be fucked if I know what's going on, but every minute we spend racking our brains, that bastard's getting further away. So what do we do? Just trying to think of where they're going to deploy him. We go back to the hideaway. I'm too tired to think. As are you, by the looks of it. After what Jill's been through. Let's worry about Kuka later, shall we? Aye. Alright. Well, give us a chance to solve the riddle of your magic mud, too. Hey, how you feeling? Ready to go home?
Man, this game's plot. It is, uh... It's always doing something, isn't it? <laughs> Just look at the state of you. You're more Some of the RPGs I've played as of late have had long-lasting plots, but, like, they're not very dynamic. Excuses. Like, moves from one step to the next to the next without much in the way of surprise, but this game has been, uh... I'll rest. Throwing wrenches in left, right, and center. Always a few things cooking. Don't worry, Gav. She's in good hands. But we should have never let her fall into Hugo's. Back when he had some like. The question is, where is he now? And what the hell were those royalists doing there? Hmm. I was wondering about that all the way home. Otto may have heard something. I'll talk to him. And I'll talk to Tomes. The lawsman. About what? About your faithful hound for a start. If any four-legged friends ever done that before, I'm betting Tomes will have read about it. But what I want to know is, what happens afterwards? It's all well and good Toggle saving our asses, but if it costs him what it costs Jill... Right. Let me know if you learn anything. Will do. And you do the same, eh? Jill, listen to Taya. I will. Thank you. That was helpful input, Clive. <laughs> Bolts from the blue. Clive is the twin to portion of the icon Titan's essence. A tuning with Titan not only allows, uh, it changes the elemental of Clive's magic spells, but also allows access to several new iconic abilities, such as Wind Up, a singular strike that increases in potency when charged. Titan's iconic feat, Titanic Block, can be used to fend off most incoming attacks. Using Square after uh, immediately timed Precision Block will initiate a devastating counter. That sounds nice. Alright, we will talk around until we get to the next plot inciting moment and then save. Otto, is now a good time? It's not a bad one. How's Jill doing? Oh, she's been better. Titan's feet. Ty is making sure she His feet. She good. Any word on Kupka's movements? Vivian's doing what she can to try and track him, but she's feeding on scraps. We've sent owls out to the Curse Breakers and their other friends in the West, asking them to keep their eyes peeled for anything unusual. No leads yet, but it's only a matter of time. All right. Let me know when you find something. There he is. All right, Clive. Still busy saving the world. Who? That? Mid. When did you get back? Oh no, is that Sid's daughter? What about your oh man. Adjourned. Since Hugo Kupka invaded Rosaria, all the canvas in uproar about it. He's gone mad. He's turned rogue. It'll be us next. Has she been you studying for five years? All right, all right. You win. How long will you be staying this time? Don't know. A while, most likely. Any road while I'm here, I was hoping you could do us a favor. Mid. You can't just expect me to... Please, oblige her. While we are busy tracking down Kupka, you should have a little time to spare. Professor! Now there's a face I haven't seen in a while. Shouldn't you have it buried in a dusty old tome? <laughs> I did, till a familiar trill pricked my ears. As ever, your exuberance is a breath of fresh air which successfully scattered the painstakingly assembled fragments of my thoughts. I'll take that as a compliment. We gotta have the genkiest of girls. Well, Clive, you heard the professor. So, I'll meet you in the story and when you're done. I wonder if she's gonna be... I don't know. Our magic engineer or some sort. Is Mid gonna fill the role of the Sid? 
like mid ones did in Final Fantasy V. Oi, Otto, you got my gill. Huh? What are you all about? My fee for bringing mid across. She said you were paying. That little. The storeroom was it? I wonder what mid's plotting. What's this plotting? All right, I think that's actually a pretty good place to end it right there. Well, <laughs> the men, the men you just said some shit. <laughs> oh. All right, let me see. Phoenix, Garuda, Ramu, Titan, Leviathan, Bahamut, Odin. Yeah. Yeah. Is the dog a dominant knight? I fucking guess. <laughs> sure. Why not? Why should it not be a dominant? Oh, look at that. Look at that. We got it. We got Titan. Three more to get. It's gonna feel weird whenever it's all filled in. But that, my friends, is going to be it for now. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out. Thanks for chilling, for chatting, and keeping me company. I hope you all had a good time, because I sure as hell did. Tomorrow we're going to be playing our first game that isn't Final Fantasy 16 for like the first time in, I don't know, five days? I'm going to be starting The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Which, uh, you know, we're all, it's just all the heavy hitters lately, it really is. Uh, so yeah, thanks everybody for joining me. Let's see, who can we raid? I think Taylor might be live by now, but the question is, has Taylor passed me in Final Fantasy 16? I am afraid to look. I am afraid to look. So we will, uh, we'll instead, we'll install, instead raid Runtooth. Who's definitely not passed me currently playing Final Fantasy 16. So, uh, yeah, please go say hello to our beloved Boonboos. And, uh, yeah, Tatuka tomorrow morning. Our next evening stream is going to be Wednesday. We're going to be playing Street Fighter 6. Hopefully getting closer to the end of World Tour mode and uh, some online games as well. Because why not? We can't leave Street Fighter 6 behind. Yeah, until next time, take care everybody, be good, and bye-zee-bye.